Hi guys, so I'm gonna do another pour today and I'm going to work on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. Um, and I don't typically pour on these. I've done a couple, but figured why not? The day is young. So I'm gonna grab some gloves and get ready to maneuver this thing. So, we are ready. We have our canvas. I'm gonna get my pour cup. I used to have a taller one, but I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. All right, so what we're gonna do is a couple of cups layered, and I'm gonna do this. This is a uh, Prussian blue, dioxazine purple, fluorescent violet, and gold. Um, this is also Prussian blue. I was just, it didn't all fit in that little cup, so I had to go a little this way. So I'm just gonna layer my cup. I have a feeling that you're not turned on here. Hold on, you just see. You're way up high. Oh yeah, we're, we're videoing, good for me. Okay, <laughs> I didn't wanna get through all the layering and then find out that ah, we forgot to press record because that has happened before. Just get the little bit that's left in there. All right. We may have to add more colors to Coming with some dioxazine purple. I'm going to do a nice wide band of white there. See what kind of effect we'll get. So I need a little bit of water right there. And I think I'm gonna do one right here because why not 
do two layered cups, right? Let's play a little bit. What do we got to lose? Not much. So we're going to layer our cup again. Might have to mix up some more gold in a minute because uh, looks like I'm getting a little low on that. Yeah, maybe not. We'll see. I think so. expect to do two cups but you know you adjust when needed I usually strain my flow trial but I'm not gonna strain this and just add a little bit there we go because I didn't add the whole cup uh, or I mean container of gold so you don't want to put a full two ounces of Floetrol in there because then there'd be too much Floetrol. Boy, I'm running out of pink. Um, I didn't mix the pink. The pink was already mixed when I started, but uh, from a previous pour. So a lot of these colors are from a previous pours. So we're just gonna wing it the best we can. Use what we can. I'm definitely going to have a lump in here. I just saw it go in with the white that I had. And uh, it's definitely going to be a nuisance. So I'm going to have to find that once I pour it out. And once I start moving the canvas, I'll be able to see it, hopefully. And I have some tweezers right behind me that you know, helps get rid of those. That's all you have to do. We are out of the paint.
All right, so I got a paper towel just to be prepared for any mishaps or messes. And so I'm wondering if I can pour them at the same time. Looks very cool. <laughs> um, all right, well, there's the first time for everything, right? It's fun. All right, so we've poured it out and don't really have much color to put around the edges. So I'm gonna have to mix up some white and I will come back to you guys. See you soon. Okay guys, um, so I uh, mixed up I, more white and in the process of getting ready to do that, I shook the Floetrol bottle and the top wasn't on it fully and it just went everywhere. Uh, so that was fun, I had to clean that up. So this has been sitting for a few more minutes than I wanted, but it doesn't matter because it's, it's developing and while it waits patiently for its um, helper. <laughs> Anywho, what a day. Make sure your flow trawl top is securely on before you shake it. Um, that way you don't have a mess all over your kitchen floor and everywhere. Thankfully I didn't get it on me even though I shook it right in front of my face. Um, Cause that would not have been fun at all. I feel like such a fool. So I don't mind that there's blue on there with the white paint. A little flowy that it is to the rest of the composition. Just don't want the composition to fold over itself um, because then you know you might miss lose parts that you like. And because I've never done two galaxy pours, 
at the same time on a canvas. I don't know. Um, I can't imagine that it's going to be easy at all to maintain something um, of a composition. So, all right, I'm ready. You guys ready? This is a big one. I love all the development in here. Oh, breathe. One more torch, because, yeah, I'm gonna start stretching everything out. I'm really loving this spirally looking center. And I'm gonna really clip this over so that I don't get it anywhere. We're gonna restock on those, so. Okay, guys. Oh, the canvas is heavy. Sorry if you're off I'm off camera. I'm just trying to maneuver this big one. I'm gonna bring it all back to center. I gotta put it down. That one's heavy. I think we're gonna get it back to center a little. We're gonna come over to this side. Slowly moving. <laughs> I'm gonna go right to that corner over there. See if we can get it over. And we have. Okay, okay. I'm gonna bring it back. This is so awesome. I'm gonna go back over this way a bit. There we go. I really wanna stretch out that light area. <sighs> I have no idea where this cup went. Okay, so the only safe thing I can do right now is take off my gloves before I get any closer to the canvas. This is so cool. It's like a vortex spiraling, sort of like time travel. I'm not sure, but I love it. I'm really excited, as you can tell. Mm, sort of a dark, but...
Okay, this is so awesome to look at. And I'm gonna bring you guys in. I just realized I was talking really lightly here. Um, I'm just concentrating, making sure everything's covered. So, all right. Nothing on me, nothing on me. Wow, woohoo! Oh, and this is my good sweater. <laughs> Great. Well, the, I lucked out. Thank goodness for that. Um, I have two of these sweaters to cuddle in. One is for painting. And then after I got paint on it, I had found another one at the store on clearance. And it is so super soft and amazing to uh, wrap yourself up in. But anywho, I thought um, <laughs> this was my painting one, but it's not. There's no splotch across of it. And I'm so happy I didn't get anything on it. Okay, guys. So uh, let's take a look at that. Sorry for the glare. That is just crazy. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get you guys down from here. And I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. And we can take a look at what we see. Okay, guys. I got you down. I mean, look at all this. This is insanely awesome. I'm really excited about this piece. I just love this. Look at those purple striped cells. And all of this is just so cool. The violet. There seems to be an eyeball right there. Interesting. But this is like a time traveling vortex or something I don't know I just think it came out so cool I'm really excited at the success of this piece and being able to pour with two cups simultaneously was uh, pretty hard also especially 18 ounce cups um, but one thing I want you guys to know is when I was pouring them, they weren't touching each other. I'm not sure if you could see that. So it was not a kiss pour, although that'd be an interesting uh, thing to try. But all right, guys. Well, this is it for me today. This is uh, number two, and I'm done. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.